Hello everybody, my name is DMC Gamer and welcome back to Batman Return to Arkham Asylum. Then we last left off, we were actually getting some Riddler trophies and, and eventually made our way into the Botanical Gardens. Now remember that last Riddler tr Joker Teeth I destroyed at the end of the last episode? Well, that was the one I needed to... That was the one that gave me enough experience to upgrade. So, we're gonna get the double bat the double battery ranks now, which is gonna be funny now. Because there's a bit that will be really funny coming up right now of these two guys here. But first, more Riddle, Riddler stuff. Is the number up for these guards? Zaz was here. Obviously, because they're posed. What else? There's an interview tape around here. I hear Joker Teeth. Joker Teeth. Gotcha. Interview tape. Hmm. Interesting. No. Remember what I said about the, the, the double batarangs being funny around here? Look what they're standing in front of. And one, and a two, and a three. They both went backwards and to the fence. Whoo boy. I love doing that. I just love getting the twin batarangs at exactly this point. Because I always have enough experience when I get into the gardens for the first time to get an upgrade. And I always get the twin batarangs at this point. It's funny. Just to see them go flying backwards into it and then just getting KO'd without me having to do anything. Just feels fun. Right. Open it up. What time is tea time in Wonderland? Who to go for first? Who to go for first? Oh, go for him. Easily isolated. Go for him. He's isolated too. All three of these guys up here are isolated. Goodbye. Can 
come on. Come on, walk towards you. Goodbye. I swear, these predator rooms are much easier now. Yeah, these, these predator rooms keep getting easier. What time is tea time in Wonderland? Mad Hatter. And who I think is a, currently appearing in Gotham, am I right? In the TV show. I don't know, I've not watched Gotham in a while. I've not watched it since season two. Get that. There's a Riddler trophy through here, I think. Yep, Riddler Trophy. I wasn't sure if it was a, if it was a Chronicle of Arkham. I wasn't sure if it was a Chronicle of Arkham or Riddler Trophy. But I mostly knew it would have been a Riddler Trophy. Right, so where am I going now? Look how fast I... That was... That's the fastest I've ever actually taken out people in this room, by the way. Uh, oh, right. How the hell did he get down there? Oh yeah, I pulled them off. <laughs> I was wondering what the fuck. You need to stop this now. Before it goes too far. Stop. But everyone's Tom dying to see what I do next. Let him go now. Really? Okay, if you say so, that. No, no, no. Thomas! <laughs> you really need to speed things up, Bats. At this rate, you'll never catch me. <laughs> Thomas. You will be avenged, Thomas. This room. Thomas will be avenged. I swear it. He will be avenged! Okay, right. This way. Remember the Waynes? How could anyone forget? There, real salt already. Character bio unlocked Thomas and Martha Wayne. Why did you say that day? Don't don't say Marth in front of Batman. You know what happens. Okay, interview tape. Interview. Pamela Lillian Isley, November fourteenth, ten twenty-one a.m. Hello, Pamela. Did you ask me to go back to something you said in our last conversation? Ask me anything you like. You said your first offer to help Gotham was rejected. How can you possibly believe that? Well, what do you mean? You released thousands of poisonous spores into Gotham. Killed hundreds of people. How does that help anybody? I'm not interested in bodies, Doctor. Horrible, fleshy sacks walking around destroying my poor babies with their greed and arrogance. But aren't you one of those fleshy sacks? You're a... were a doctor, too. How can you turn your back on us? Quite easily, as it happens. But not you, Stephen. You're different. I feel we have a connection. Really? You do? Of course. Ah, she's using her charms on him. Hell, any man would fall for her charms. Jesus, poison ivy. Who wouldn't? Stop, please. I'm not important. I can't help you. How the hell did he... F they never usually see me when I do that. Take him out so I don't have to do that.
Oh, on an interview tape. Her womanly charms. Thanks. Are you okay? I'm fine. I eat punks like these for breakfast. Hmm. What were they doing in here? The ones that weren't hitting me went over there and started doing something to the power controls. I have no idea what they were doing. Hmm. Looks like Joker has booby trapped this control box. This is going to be tougher than before, but it's a risk I'll need to take. Indeed. Let's get it done fast. Well, who would have thought the third one was the same one as the same frequency as the second one? Okay, now that it's done, now we can cross. But first, we need to get this. What's in here? Oh, secret map. And a Riddler trophy. Trophy, give me the trophy. Check the map. Got everything in that main room. Stay here. I might be back soon. Okay, statue corridor. Of course. It won't be long before I have an army of titan monsters at my fingertips. Oh, just imagine me being carried through the streets, stepping over the corpses of all those innocent citizens. It's going to be glorious. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I will not let that happen. The rep catcher needed more than just his charm to lead his army. I'm sorry, Thomas. I will avenge you. I will avenge you, Thomas. I promise. I swear on the old gods and the new. Right, so, through here. Okay, this way. Look down here. Riddle. Riddle. The rat catcher needs more than just his charm to lead his army. For those of you who haven't read the comics, once employed as an actual rat catcher in Gotham, Otis Flanagan soon started using his natural gift and affinity with an ability to control rats to stage a variety of crimes. Eventually, his control over the vermin grew until he threatened Gotham City with a veritable army of rodents. Incarcerated many times at Blackgate, he's able to do as much damage within prison as without, using his loyal pets to relay messages and transport materials inside the maze of ventilation ducts that wind throughout the giant prison. First appeared in Detective Comics number 585, April 1988. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Too bad he's never in any of these games. Where am I going? Okay, this way. Mushrooms! Where's the trophy? Mushrooms! Oh, Batman, you should get those mushrooms. They might be magic. They might be magical mushrooms. Magical mushrooms. Wall here. Easily be destroyed.
This challenge can only be seen by those with a different view on life. Riddler trophy found. And then here, we get another Riddler trophy. Right. This bit's kind of weird. Don't know why it's weird. It's just fucking weird hearing Joker say, just talk to himself while he's mixing the chemicals. Can't guarantee bigger. A little prick. Damn, I can't pull that down yet. Done. This challenge can only be seen those with a different view on life. Still can't get to that because I don't have the ultra back claw. How much is left? How much is left? You've only got. Hold on. Apparently there's something here. Oh, I need the line launcher. No, actually, I don't need the line launcher. I don't need the line launcher. I can do this now. I can do that now. of green. Uh, got it. Come on, come on, come on. Or is it a Chronicle of Arkham? Chronicle of Arkham. Chronicle of Arkham. Every day I found the patients more distracting. Their insane mutterings and constant twitching disgusted me. There was only one way to cure this evil. Only one way to purify the city and ensure its future. I needed to prepare myself. I needed to be ready. Hmm. Ready for what? Right. Time to go. I think 
go this way, I believe. I think we go this way. This is a tribute to what a mad dog left behind. Damn, I'm going the wrong way. I, I left, I, I forgot a riddle. I'll go back and get it later. This way, this is the right way. Is this a tribute? No, no, wait, I was in the right. Uh, no, I'm going the right way. I am going the right way to get this riddle. Answer him! Please, stop. I told you what you wanted to know. You got everyone. Please, you can let me go. And you promise you won't tell anyone about Joker's plan? Well, okay then. Help this guy to his feet, then shoot him in the face. My pleasure. Wait, but you said... <laughs> what? Did you think we just let you walk out of here? <laughs> Man, that's funny. Listen up. I'm gonna kick you a bit more, then when you pass out, I drag you back in there and throw you down the hall. And let all your friends watch. <laughs> It's the back! Boom! Free variation bonus, 25 plus 25 XP. Damn it, not enough. Are you okay? Do I look okay? They were gonna kill me. We were in the aviary hiding out. And they came in with Joker shooting up the place and loaded us into cages. Are they still in there? No, man. No one's come out since. You've got to help them. Stay here. Well, that's the only thing he can do. Just stay there. It's not like he's going to go anywhere else. But first, another riddle. Looks like all the king's horses trampled all the king's men. Humpty Dumpty. Right. Time for those of you who don't read the comics. An obese bald man named Hump, nicknamed Humpty Dumpty for his egg-like form. Humphrey, Dumpfl Humphrey Dumpler is obsessed with taking things apart and putting them back together. His crimes at first were minor break-ins, leading to small mechanical items no longer functioning due to Dumpler's inability to adequately reassemble them after taking them apart. But soon his obsession grew to the point that major disasters occurred in Gotham, and Dumpler's crimes also extended to a gruesome attempt to fix his abusive grandmother, by dismembering her and then attempting a Frankenstein-like reassembly. At Arkham, he is a model inmate, his quiet nature and imposing physique in injuring him to the madness surrounding him. First appearance, Arkham Asylum, Living Hell number 1, July 2003. Right. Now we can level up, what can we get? Uh, get the last uh, armor upgrade. Now we've got maximum health. Now we have maximum health. We can't get over there yet because we've not got a line launcher. Right. Riddle solved. This is a tribute to what the mad dog left behind. But I'm going to end this episode here, people. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button, comment. And if you're new here, why not subscribe for some more awesome content. And I'll see you all in the next video.